Welcome to Fee Street in Welland. Thousands upon thousands took a stroll down Fee Street this past weekend in downtown Welland. Organizers were ecstatic at how the public responded to the inaugural event. It, it's amazing, honestly. It's it's almost like uh, like a release because you know we we've been working on this, like you said, for a year since September of, of last year, and uh, the last three months leading up to it, we started working with a new committee who really you know went hands down and. The community was amazing, the city was amazing, and even still with all that support, there's a lot of stress and a lot of, a lot of stuff on your back, so to, to have it start and have all these people here is awesome, so. What are you noticing as the day has unfolded? It's, it's starting to snowball. People are really, uh, they're buying more things, they're trying more things, because with the $3 tasters, there's a lot more opportunity to try things, because you don't have to spend a heck of a lot of money. Uh, and there's also a ton more people than there were about three or four hours ago. It was good in the start, but I mean, it's really, really starting to become something to see, so. What's the process been like in terms of filling out your roster of vendors so you have a kind of nice cross-section of some? Absolutely. So we have a, a really, really awesome committee. And so when people would submit their vendor forms, they had to submit a menu for us. And we review the menu, make sure that there's uh, no duplication, uh, that it's fairly priced, um, and that it's, it's going to be something generally good for everybody, whether that's vendors and patrons and everybody else. So. What kind of support have you had from, from the city? This city is so cool, and Welland is an incredibly underrated, uh, underrated city. It's turned around so much in the past couple years, and and I know for a fact, for sitting on the downtown BIA, uh, working with the city all of the time, they have been giving us unconditional support along with the region and and other organizations. But the city in particular has been amazing to us, and this event would not be to scale if it weren't for them being a part of this for sure. So. Spinoza is aware that Fee Street will be compared to the Welland Food Festival that had a successful run before ceasing operations in 2015. I would say that we were conscious of making it different and similar in the same way because the Food Festival uh, at its core values was an amazing thing. You know, bringing food and bringing music uh, to a small community is a great thing. But at the same time, towards the end of the Food Fest career, it became really expensive and uh, really inexpensive accessible for a lot of people so what we wanted to do was really pay homage to the original festival with with the sample size portions and the inexpensive quality um, high quality but inexpensive portions uh, but then also you know make it so that anyone can come at any time of day and have a great time and I think that's why we see so many people here at this early in, in the night so you put an emphasis on the environment as well absolutely yeah we um, I mean it, it should be a no-brainer for people but a lot of the times when you're doing something that's portable it, it gets really easy to say okay well we'll serve it in this because it's easier and then just toss it but that really adds up you know uh, one festival can do what a whole city will do in a weekend you know and so uh, with this we uh, we really worked with the region on that and they have a recycling and compost program that we've been working with we have six sorting stations across the festival where people will take your garbage and put it in its proper receptacle so it's been really fantastic that way Organizers want those in attendance to reach out on social media and comment on what they liked and didn't like in the hopes they can make year two even better. Find them online at www.feaststreetniagara.com. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.